Hey! Cindy, what are you up to? Uh, enjoying some of the fresh morning air. Oh, that's lovely. Are you ready for your 73 questions? Absolutely. Tell me, what was the best thing that happened to you today? Uh, meeting you! Oh, you have to say that. Worst thing that happened to you today? Hopefully not the same answer. Uh, Roe v. Wade got overturned. Uh -huh. like uh, a uh oh. Tell me, what is your favorite time of the day? Um, I think 11 p.m. Like, I haven't gotten tired yet, but everything's quiet and the night sky is all pretty. I love um, that. And what is your favorite TV obsession? Uh, right now, The Umbrella Academy. Season three, season three just came out. So Ooh. excited to watch it. Tell me, stairs or elevators? Uh, stairs. Oh, no. <laughs> what is something that recently moved you? Um, I just watched Mincy's Tiny Desk concert. I feel like it's even better than like studio recording. Uh huh. And tell me, what is something that allows you to have this positive attitude of yours? Uh, I think like the rest of the C-suite of Codified Hell. Aww. Really supportive to you. <laughs> what are three things that you can't live without? Oh, I like to call this the three F's, you know, friends, family, the Wi-Fi. Uh, um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, you're stuck on an island. You can pick one food to eat forever without getting tired of it. What would you eat? I know this is sort of cheating, but like hot pot. Ooh, it's I like such it. A good dish. <laughs> Last piece of content you consume that made you cry. Ooh. Um, I guess I was looking through like my some uh, videos and I like, found a really old one of like, me and my younger brother and I guess oh, he's grown so tall lately and I just got like, really nostalgic when he cried. They grow up so fast. I know, he's taller than me now. Where do you go for a good laugh? Uh, I think Reddit has some like, really funny videos. Yeah. Like, one of like a hamster regurgitating food. Like, some people don't think that's funny, but like, don't know why it's hilarious <laughs> to me. I'll tell you a story later about a hamster. It's not as fun. Oh, um, tell me, what is the best piece of advice you've ever received? And we'll um, go inside. I think nobody's watching. Like, as someone who gets really anxious and really worried, I think it like, gave me the confidence to not be afraid to do things, to sort of like not stop, sorry, stop myself from doing the things I want to do, you know, like within the bounds of the law. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, B-Lab is watching. <laughs> okay, I'm ready to start yeah. Oh, would you be able to take off your shoes? Of course, of course. Really appreciate it. This is a nice place. Good morning. What? <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm I'm filming you guys. Look away the strips then. Hmm. <laughs> Tell me, what is one thing no one knows about you? I didn't know this until last night, but apparently my shoulders are relatively flexible. What? Because I can do this very easily. Uh. <laughs> I love that for you. <laughs> now tell me, what is the best way that you take a rest or decompress after you do the shoulder thing, or just, just in general? Playing Pokemon on the DS. White, yeah. Platinum, or Alpha Sapphire. She's a gamer. Yeah, on Discord. <laughs> How would you define yourself in three words? Use the three Fs. Funky, fatigued, and phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> what is your biggest fear in life? That the IRS is going to find me. No. <laughs> because I gave them my social security card or number, my brown email, my brown <laughs> mailbox number, and my parents' house address. <laughs> so they'll be getting in touch shortly. Just just out of curiosity, what would that be? Your social security number? <laughs> nice try. Sorry, almost nice got try. <laughs> Tell me, what's the most adventurous thing you've ever done in your life? I've been river rafting in Spain before. What? Yeah. That's sick. <laughs> was that your best road trip ever? No, my best road trip was one that I took right before coming to college. That's with my boyfriend, and we went from LA to San Francisco and back in seven days. Ooh. Um, we saw ostriches. There's an ostrich farm halfway up California, and we saw them, and that was my highlight. Speaking of love, if you could do a love scene with anyone, who would it be? I mean, Justin Trudeau. He used to be a ski instructor. He looked like an Abercrombie model when he was younger. Really? <laughs> yes. Didn't we all? <laughs> what are you most excited about at this time in your life? Um, this is so soggy looking. <laughs> <laughs> um, probably just meeting new friends at B-Lab, um, exploring Providence a little bit more that spools out. Yeah. Also.
I'm going to New York tomorrow, oh. so Ooh. looking forward to that. Okay, I don't know how to pronounce this, so I give you a <laughs> warning in advance. But why is burn advocacy so important? I got it, I got it! <laughs> <laughs> well, when I was in high school, I was on fire. <gasps> Like physically on fire oh and so after that um, I started volunteering as a burns support peer counselor at like the local hospitals that is yeah. incredible I'm so sorry but I'm so happy you made something so wonderful it's character building uh, <laughs> now what is the best compliment you've ever received and you don't have to be humble here. <laughs> um, when I was in sixth grade biology we had a pig dissection mm -hmm. and my teacher came over and she looked at my pig she's like hey like, you have the most like decisive most like clean cuts you're born to be a surgeon and i was like thank you miss mimo shout out to miss mimo and it wasn't until afterwards that i was like looking under it and i had cut through like multiple <laughs> organs <laughs> and i was like oh i was definitely not born to be a surgeon but mm -hmm. compliment was nice <laughs> Good for my ego. I'm glad, I'm glad you're not my surgeon. I'm sorry. <laughs> In the future. Watch out. Uh, what is the best piece of advice you give your teenage self? To stop pretending to be emo because <laughs> nobody thinks you <laughs> are. That's so good. <laughs> what super power would you want? Um, I don't know the exact name, but I think it's called Omnilingual. Ooh. Which is where you can speak every language. That is sick. I would yeah. love that too. Favorite app? I have this thing called Flight. Did you see it smoke? <laughs> I think it's smoking. <laughs> well, anyways, there's this app called Flight Radar, and pretty much when I'm out and about and I look up and oh my gosh, <laughs> when I look up um, and see a plane above head, I can actually go on my app and track like where it's um, departing from, and where it's going. Oh. Yeah, so I'm like, oh my gosh, Providence, like Frankfurt or wherever, like fly down Providence. But yeah, that one. They never have a Providence on Paulo. Which... If you find one, let me know. <laughs> What's your secret talent? Um, my party trick mm. is stepping on people's backs Oops. with their consent. Okay. <laughs> like a knockoff chiropractor. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, important question of the day. Dolphins or koalas? Okay, so fun facts about both. Koalas, 90% of the koala population has koalas. No. But on the other hand, dolphins kind of bully pufferfish, so the pufferfish release the neurotoxin TTX, which is paralytic. Mm -hmm. So pretty much they like like play beach volleyball with the pufferfish in order to get high. What? So I'm gonna go with the dolphin because I think that's kinda cool. That is kinda cool. <laughs> What's your spirit animal? Cows. No work, no job, no school. Just no. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, what is the best gift you've ever given? So, my boyfriend's name is Nico. Nico. And he is a swimmer. Mm -hmm. And he used to be really into Ryan Lockerbie. Ooh. And so, I tried getting one of those cameo like video recordings that celebrities send from Ryan Lochte to him for his birthday. And I was trying to get Ryan Lochte to do that thing, like the anime thing, where it goes like, Nico, Nico, Nico. <laughs> and he did not. No. But if he did, that would have been the best gift, hands down. That would have been. I like that. Cindy, Cindy, Cindy. Oh. Cindy. Oh. Cindy. Oh. Cindy. <laughs> What's the best gift you've ever given? Uh, given? It's mm -hmm. a good question. My time? Oh. <laughs> you tell him. Just kidding. I once uh, planned a birthday party for a friend. I feel like it's really fun to get um, get our whole friend group together to like Ooh. celebrate their birthday. It's a really fun time. Got them cake. Presents. Oh, really fun. What about the best one you've ever received? Oh, I have to say the Professor Layton DS game, like Professor mm. Layton and Last Spectre, like amazing puzzle series. I can totally recommend it. <laughs> Back to you, Haley. Favorite color? Not this because I'm burning. No. <laughs> it's burning. Oh my gosh, it's going such a fan. Well, um, Prius Blue. Prius Blue. We love some Prius Blue. Oh, no. Back to you while that thing happens. Yeah, What's your favorite board game? Board game? Oh, set. It's a fun, fun card game. You like yeah. have to find a set. It's hard to explain, fun to play. Yeah, nice. How about your least favorite color? Uh, it has to be orange. Mm. Like, I'm sorry, but it's 
too much on the eyes for me. <laughs> it's a color. <laughs> what? Where's Sophia? What is she up to? Sophia. Or tea? Mm, it has to be tea. Mm, okay. I don't have a preference, so I have no emotional attachment to that answer. What is the skill that you're working on? Um, I would say cooking because I want to get off meal plan. Ooh. What about you? What's your favorite smell? Um, probably vanilla. Okay. What is one thing people don't know about? Oh, okay. I think it might be nice. Oh my goodness. Were you a ballet dancer? No, I just can. You just, just born this yeah. way. You woke up like this. Speaking of waking up, what's your wake up routine? Um, probably just to make, <laughs> to probably just make tea or chai, and then probably just have some breakfast. Nice. What is your dream country to visit? Um, probably Bora Bora. Ooh, that's really nice. What's the biggest surprise you've ever had? Ooh, probably when I come home, my mom makes my favorite meals like Kima. Ooh, that sounds amazing. Now, this is a slightly gloomy question, but what do you want? Who do you want to write your obituary? Uh, shout out to Sansara. So probably Sana writing the majority. So this is my middle sister. I can probably get like all the parts with some jokes in, and yes. probably Sara with some like witty but like kind of annoying commentary. Set the tone. Uh, yeah, I set the tone. <laughs> Bring me down a notch. Uh huh. <laughs> Now I see here that your your fellow roommates they're they're cooking. Tell me, what's your favorite ingredient to put in oh, everything? Oh, my favorite ingredient has to be tagine. I put it on put it on fruit. A lot of people put it on fruit, but I put it on like vegetables, everything because as you know, rally food has no flavor. That that can be true. <laughs> Go ready. Tell me, window or aisle seat? Uh, definitely window seat. I like to sleep on. Them. Smart. What's inspiring in your life? Um, probably my mom. She's always very inspiring to me. That's very nice. Favorite thing you've ever photoshopped? Ooh, so as a photographer, my favorite thing has to be when I photoshopped was my series I did where I put paint on the block and I stuck it in people's faces. Uh -huh. Did your models like that? Um, they actually did. They really liked it because it was a cool after photo. Okay, that's fair. Paint. I'd love to see those. Yeah. Tell me, what is it like being a woman in business? Um, it's a lot of work, but it's really rewarding. Thank you. Cindy, back to you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> what is a book that everyone should read? Uh, I'd say Bad Blood by John Kerry. I think it's like a really good nonfiction book about Theranos. Like, role model for oh, what not to do. Ooh. <laughs> Sophia, don't escape. Don't what escape. would you like to be remembered for? Um, probably being the mom friend. I like that. Cindy, how do you define beauty? Beauty? Oh, I'd say being content with yourself, which I find is like actually really hard to do. Yes. So, hope I find it someday. Uh, <laughs> favorite place of you are? Um, I'm biased because I used to work here, but <laughs> the Contemporary Museum of Fine Art in Houston. And I would have to also say the Mineo Treasure Rooms on top of the Mineo Collection. Wow. I will not remember that, but thank you. <laughs> if your life were a song, what would it, the title be? Life really is a highway. So true. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're still here. <laughs> what are your favorite lyrics of all time? I'm going to butcher it again. <laughs> I think it goes, it's from a song called You're the Cat by Al Stewart. Ooh. It goes, she comes out of the sun in a silk dress running like a watercolor in the rain. It's beautiful. It's oh, yeah. beautiful. If you could master one instrument, what would it be? Ooh, I'd say the piano. Like, long, long, I'm coming after the job. <laughs> <laughs> jokes, jokes. I don't think she's joking. Hey, what's the weirdest word in English language? Lugubrious. It haunts me since I spelled it wrong at the second grade spelling bee. <laughs> let's, see, let's see if you learned anything. Lugubrious. L-U-G-U-B-R-I-O-U-S. <laughs> Back to you. Dark chocolate, milk chocolate. Dark chocolate. Ooh, nice take. A dessert you like, Miss Sophia? Ooh, dessert I like? Yes, you don't like. Oh, don't like. Yeah, well, that's more interesting. Um, probably 
How, okay, controversial opinion. I don't like fried dough because I think funnel cake's better. Okay. How about if you made a documentary, what would it be about? The pains of medical school. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that would get a lot of hits. What's a song you can listen to on repeat? Um, probably any song on my 80s playlist. Ooh, we'll get back to that. And if you could switch lives with someone for a day, who would it be? Um, it would definitely be my dog, Sadie. Wow. I've heard once that dogs had no soul. And then I started rethinking my religion, but that's a story for another time. <laughs> no connection here, but what's your favorite club on campus, Cindy? Yeah, uh, not a club, but I really love TAing for CS200. It's like an intro CS class. I got to meet a whole bunch of people, amazing community of TAs. Like, if you're brown, take the class. Ooh. Shameless, shameless bitch. <laughs> what's your <laughs> affirmation today? Um, probably just to get through the day because I'm really tired oh. already. What is something you've always wanted to try but you've been too scared to do? Probably bungee jumping. Ooh. Ooh. What's your first celebrity crush? Mm, probably any, probably Zane Love from One Direction, but honestly, Harry Styles is up there too. <laughs> <laughs> what is one thing, Cindy, that you've always wanted to try but you've been too scared to do? Oh. I say jumping from a plane. But like safely, not like just jumping out sort of thing. That was a skydiving, that's the word. That didn't sound right. It was not coming out well. I think we go with safely jumping from a plane. <laughs> now, what's one thing you've learned the hard way, Haley? I'm really bad at bowling. <laughs> no. It's <laughs> true. And Sophia, what is your kryptonite? Ice cream. Oh. Three people, dead or alive. Who would you make dinner for? Since you're the only one who didn't cook <laughs> for us. Uh, I think uh, my Lala, my Maya, and my mom. Like I want to show them how I've gotten slightly better at cooking. Sorry, you couldn't see it on camera today. <laughs> I'll find you back later. <laughs> no. On to the good stuff. Sophia, what is it that inspired your venture, Codified Health? Um, I think it has to be my mom and my grandmother just kind of seeing their private practices and the struggles that they face. Mm -hmm. Haley, why is this problem so important? Um, I think at least to me, my dad is a physician, he mm -hmm. has his own private practice, and my mom actually did billing for him, like the wall over, and so I thought that was like a really cute, like, oh, mom and pop dog shop, uh -huh. and a few years ago, they ended up just selling to a hospital because it was just really, really difficult to operate a private practice. Yeah. And so that's not just like my family, but like across the nation, this is happening. And so if we can help out in any way we can, then we're going to try. And I'm <laughs> sure you guys will do amazing. Woo! And what's what's something that surprised you thus far at B-Lab? Um, probably just how nice people are. I have not actually had that much experience interacting with the Nelson Center mm -hmm. prior to this. So I was like, oh, like business people, they're so <laughs> scary and confident, but they're actually fine. And I really like it there. That's so nice. Yeah. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> And you, Cindy, how has B Lab been helping your venture develop, in your opinion? Uh, I think uh, we've gotten like really great mentorship, and it's really cool seeing like entrepreneurship from an academic viewpoint. Mm -hmm. It's really, really cool. That is really true. Uh, super valuable. <laughs> <laughs> and Sophia, what would you give as a tip to someone who's looking to start a venture? Um, I would say that don't take no for an answer. Just keep going. You yeah. got it, and you're gonna encounter a lot of bumps in the road, but you gotta keep pushing. That's awesome. Now guys, the question that we've all been waiting for. <laughs> Tell me the truth about the ride to bowling, listening to 70s music in Jason's car. Well, <laughs> I think what happens in Jason's car stays in Jason's no! car. No! <laughs> Thank you so much. Of course. Take care. Yeah.